Hey guys, so um, I did a face, I've actually done two face makeup routines um, within the past, I don't know, two years, and it seems like I change mine every year. I normally use about the same products, but I change it up just a little. Um, like the whole bronzer on the last one, e, I look dirty, so none of that. And I actually tried using that powder again because I don't use that one anymore. I tried using that face powder. I looked like I just got done rolling in the dirt with my dog. So, new face makeup routine. Even though it's, I mean, it's not really... I mean, it is new, but... Don't want the brush in. It's new, but I'm still using majority of the same products. So, I'm going to start off... I'm going to show you the product. The Maybelline Fit Me, um, SPF 18. So this is a really good mas or mascara, <laughs> really good face makeup to wear during summer. Um, if you apply it with your hands, it goes on a lot smoothly. If you want a better coverage, you can use a brush or a sponge. Normally, I just typically just work it in with my hands. Um, so I'm just gonna turn back my hand. Um, this is in the color 120, I believe. Yeah. I'm white. Hopefully, you know, by the end of summer, midsummer, I'll be rocking a darker look. So, we're just gonna pop that all over. This is gonna make me look so white. And the funny thing is, is this is actually my dark color. Um, well, my medium color, I guess you can say. Because during winter, I was wearing 110. Really light. It's like the lightest you can get. Um, in the Fit Me line through Maybelline. So, yeah. It was ooh, really light. I'm exiled to the bathroom again because Nick decided to watch a movie rather than I wanted to. Um, make a video. But at least this kind of had better lighting. I know lighting in the last video was horrible. I brought in a lamp. So you want to blend that down your neck. So just run it underneath and drag it down. Um, I am going to take the brush to do underneath my eyes for my dark circles because I want a little bit more heavy coverage there. And typically, and then right on my chin, I got a bug bite right on my chin like a couple nights ago. I'm like, really? Like, I just had a pimple there and then bug bite right on the chin. I was like, wow. And do a little bit on the nose. Just, you know, do a little bit more on the chin. Got a big red spot. Make sure it's blended down. Ooh, I look white. Okay. Um, I've completely changed the powder I use. I'm actually using Rimmel London's Stay Matte um, powder for shine control. Long last. And I love the look of matte faces. Um, this is in Sandstorm. My hand's going weird. And I'm just using like a little powder puff. But it's not like, I don't know, it's not cotton. It's like the latex ones. Um, I actually bought this at Walmart for two dollars, I believe, like one ninety five. And this is actually a very um dense. Like if I rub my finger on it, hardly any comes up. Um, it's very dense, so um, it actually really maps you out. Um, takes away the shine and really lets the natural color of your face show. I have 
like a mirror here, a mirror there, I have the camera, <laughs> and I have like a little mirror, so I will probably look in several different directions, because I'll probably look in the big mirror to make sure it looks even all the way around. And I found I like using these these little powder puff things just because it really presses the powder onto the face a lot better than um, a brush. And it really just makes your makeup look flawless. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still use a brush for like my blushes and all that. But for applying powder for my face, I definitely want to use a powder puff. Blend it into your hairline. We don't want lines. We want our face to look as if it is a natural beauty, not faked. <laughs> we just kind of run that down. Get your ear. Okay. Then, what I do next is, um, I kind of used to use a contour brush, which I don't anymore, just because it would concentrate it, um, too much. So now I just use, like, this big blush brush. Um, and I still use the e.l.f. blush in, uh, Pink Passion. Like, yeah, the light is like, there we go. The light is completely like blotching it out. And I just pick up a little bit of that. And I tend to squish the brush a little bit so it's like a little bit more specific to an area. And just pop that on. Kind of blend it up to your temples. Give you a nice little pink glow, which if you can even probably can even tell. Let's see. Ouch. Oh, there we go. Oh, this trusty light that has been with me for so long. Probably been the. This is. I'm using the same light I've used in every single makeup tutorial right now. It's, it's been my trusty little sidekick. Okay, now that you have your blush on, um, I still use the e.l.f. Um, bronzer. Of course, I've, this is like my third one, and it's like practically gone. Just because I just like it, it's a little um, on the orangey side, but when you put it on, you can't really tell. And actually now, I put bronzer all over. I don't just put it in specific spots. I mean, I do start in the contour, but I put it all over just because um, I felt the other one, it just made me look dirty in spots. So I just put it all over. I even put it a little over the blush just to give it an extra, you know, bronzy look. And now that since I'm, I used to live inland, um, I used to live in the IE, you know, in the valley, really hot during summers, but now I live next to the beach, so I gotta maintain a bronzy look, you know. Who's seen a white girl, you know, as white as me at the beach? Bronzing it up. That's right. You want to also bring it down. And I like to take um, a clean, fluffy brush. I think this is clean. Mm, I have a little bit of... Just... You know, really blend those together on the face. Okay. 
Browser check complete. Now I go to my trusted, my trusty Nyx white. Oh lord, that looks like uber white. It's like fluorescent. Crazy stuff. And I go back to the angled contour brush. Ooh, see some stuff lying off there. It looks like there was some glitter in that. Must have gone on it. Um, I just pick up a little bit of that and just pop it in a triangle. Like so. That way it brightens up underneath the eyes. It, it detracts from the dark circles if your um not concealer. Your foundation doesn't um, cover that all up. And then pop that. So if you want to do some more highlighting along the nose, the top, and your chin and lip, that's fine by all means go for it. Um I tend not to just because I'm not a big fan. Um I want to do my eyebrow, but I don't know if I can find the brush. Oh, here it is. Um, I'm just going to take, you know, angle liner brush. Um, my color is going to be a lot different than your color. I'm just using a color from the Crystal Sense palette. It's a MAC Never Do Shimmer. It doesn't look natural. Um, I'm just going to use that brown right there. Fill in my brows. Which, if you wanted to, you could fill your brows in, you know, after your makeup. Um, you can even put your eye makeup on first, then do your your um, foundation. Why do I keep saying my skin up? Your foundation, which is fine. It prevents, you know, fallout from sticking to your face and stuff. But, you know, it's good. Like so, and that is pretty much it for the face routine. My eyebrows look really dark. Just rub it in. It'll look better once I do my makeup because my makeup's like, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you for watching, and this is my updated face routine, face makeup tutorial, however you want to put it. I hope you.